Some of you have been asking why a ring light has made an appearance on my camera recently. There it is. Isn't that nice? Um, why are you using a ring light, Scott? What's the, what's the light on the end of your lens? This is it. This is a ring light. Now, ring lights come in a few different formats. Um, and I've had all of them over the years. One of them is the huge... 3200 watt pro fashion ring light and that, that is used in fashion photography and it's a very distinctive look you kind of get this 3d shadow behind them completely filled in shadows it's brutally bright you can never use it in my sort of work because even at minimum power you'd be at like f300 um but from a reasonable working distance those lights they work well they, they do the job they, they get things done but for my sort of work, this is what you need. And this is a macro ring flash. And we're going to get some images popping up of when I've used it. And there's a few reasons why I use it. Um, one is the obvious, and that is to add fill light and to completely fill in shadows. Now, I'm not a fan of having shadows completely filled in most of the time, but there are occasions with particularly dark subjects where having them filled in is important. And that does, that does help. Um, but there's also other issues, and it's to do with my camera. So let's go and have a look at that. And I'm going to explain to you how this helps me get by that problem. And this is called an MFR76 macro ring flash. It just, it just rolls off the tongue. Um, but there we go, let's go and have a look. Come on, let's see. So this is the camera which the ring flash goes on. And, and let me show you why I need a ring flash. Um, what you might too, this might not be the case, but it might be. Um, and it's to do with macro work. This camera here has these huge bellows. If I just pull these back here. There we go. Which means we can focus so close that the item is almost touching the lens. Now, this is obviously not an issue, that's all fine. But the problem we have is, when the background's here, the item's here, and the lens is there, the light can't get in. So even using like the hazy at uh, 3200 watts with a, a big pack, we can't get any light in there. We can light the background, we can get the shadow, but we can't get the light over the front of the actual item we're shooting in order to see it. So we can get the shadow, we can get the background, but not the subject. And that's where this comes in. Nip it on the end, sits here, and this will light just the subject. And it's not as powerful as a 3200 watt light, but I can balance it with it because this is millimeters from the subject. This is really close. And the other benefit, which is what you can see now, is the modeling lamp. Turn that off, turn that on. It doesn't seem like much, but when you are this close, there's not much light there to actually see to be able to focus. So having this with just the modeling lamp as well, sometimes we'll use it just for focusing and not actually fire the flash because that's a real useful tool. Now, when I don't use it, and I think this is as relevant as when I do use it, is when we're shooting a bigger scene. So we're not all maxed out on the bellows. We're shooting an ordinary scene and I want some fill light. I don't like the look of fill light from a ring flash onto the set. It's not my cup of tea. For fashion work, I actually really like it, especially in the sort of like seamless white, like blitz with flash sort of look, high contrast, high like fidelity um, structure. Uh, but for my sort of work, I don't, I'd rather use a bounce card. And it's important to know that just because it can do a job, it doesn't mean it's, it, it should. It's a aesthetic choice. Now, with that, just because I don't like the look of it, doesn't mean you shouldn't like the look of it. There are no right or wrong modifiers. It's just what you like. You might go, do you know what? My entire portfolio of food work, Ring flash, that's the look I want. That's what I'm going for. Um, I'm pretty sure Martin Parr uses one of these quite a lot for his macro work. I think he uses one with the split flashes. But you know, there's a real like look and aesthetic to ring flash and macro ring flash. And it's definitely something I like in the right context. But that's how I use it. That's what I've been using. If there's something you want to know about in photography, do let me know and I'll try and make a video on it. These videos here are kind of an aim to show you what I didn't know when I was starting out because it was hard to find that information. So if you want to know about something, put it in the comments below. I'll go through them all and I'll do my best to make a video about it at some point in the near future. Anyway, see you all soon. Goodbye.